So I'm going to show you a short video on dashboard reporting for Sage 200. We all know the pains of creating reports, how much time this takes us, then having to share the information around the business, but more importantly, keeping these reports up to date. So what do businesses normally do? They normally resort to exporting all this data into Excel and manipulating it. But what I'm going to show you today is an easier way. What I plan to show you is an interactive business intelligence tool that has no static reporting in it and it's all interactive data. So what you can see here is a nice easy to use dashboard. This is pre-configured for Sage 200. So let's just start at reports that we look in every single day and every single month. How many orders have we got through the door against Target? But more importantly, where are these orders coming from and which customers? Within the dashboard, we can very easily pop these reports onto full screen. We can hover over and get a snapshot of data, but we can actually start to now interact with these reports and start to zoom in and drill down and start to interrogate this data. As you can see, it's telling me at every level of drill down what information that I'm viewing. I can even click on a particular customer and it can very easily show me all of the orders and what the order value makes up in total. There's always a way of sharing this information around. We can email reports to each other in the dashboard, but we can always download the data. When we're downloading the data, this is sucking the live data, reading from our Sage 200 into a very simple Excel format. Other key reports that we look at when running businesses is sales analysis. What we can do within the dashboard is have all these monthly management reports, but being able to filter down and be able to show field workers their sales, for example. And how we do this is we can look at particular customers and we can just apply filters. This is just using standard analysis codes within Sage. And again, we have the ability to drill down into this. We have the ability to still zoom. What we can also do is we can look at cash flow coming into the business. How quick are our customers paying? What outstanding debtors have we got? And how can we get this money into our business faster? You can see here that we have KPIs within our reports, which can send trigger alerts to our emails to be alerted when somebody is not paid. Or we can pop these targets very easily into charts so that when we're viewing this data, straight away it tells us who's not paid and who has paid. We do have our standard P&L reporting within the dashboard as well. But what takes Pan Intelligence one step further than your standard Sage reporting is that we can incorporate and report on multiple companies within Sage. We can have these in one view, or very easily we can apply filters again, which if we drop down, it would make different companies or show different companies. Finally, what I want to do is show you how easy it is to look at other disparate data sources. So this example is maybe looking at a CRM system that might sit on a separate server. If I just click on the cases here, this is a key piece of information in any business. You know, are you sticking and ensuring that your service levels are as high and that your support agreements are met? If you've got a customer on the phone, you can very easily tell them which particular person is looking after their case. We can drill down into that and we can actually look at the different tickets that they've issued with us and let them know the status. Is this in progress and is this now fixed? So hopefully what I've shown you today is a really interactive environment that's very easy to use. It's all live data and it updates itself in real time. So you won't have to keep maintaining these reports, but it also allows you to understand your business much better and see the important things that you need to action. Thanks.